All right, how well did the Italians glue uh, glue theirs on? <laughs> a lot of times you can just pick these up straight. Oh, there we go. That was, oh. See that right there? You, uh, you don't want to see this. Oh, Lord, I put this on upside down. What, what, what was wrong with me a few days ago? <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is going to be fun. This is going to be great. This is uh, a simple mistake and then the, uh, the consequences. <clears throat> See, everything's just going to be really just well glued together. Mm-hmm, everything's good. Oh, this is, yep, this is going to be good. I tell you. <laughs> it's never better, really. All right, there we go. Lift off. So these guys have been busy. Not quite as busy uh, as the carnolians. Got a, a lot, lot of honey, a lot of honey in here. Butt loads of honey. Now you don't know how tempting it is for me to just quick and then you know taste it and then that's how you really just get stung straight straight in the eyes. Yeah, so it looks like they even glued these together. They've they've glued these a little bit together. Uh yep, that's nice. It looks like there's little to nothing happening on these. Even maybe signs of wax moths. Okay, so they've essentially just glued this together, which is, yep, that's that's what you like to see. And the uh, same, like the uh, the carnelians didn't like didn't like that either. Now, whenever a bee gets on you and they're angry, you can just like feel them. You can feel the vibration. It's very intense. But it looks like these guys have just a, a crap load of honey as well. heavy frame right here very very heavy <laughs> Ooh, oh lord just uh, <laughs> look at how massive this is that's that's nuts this is just pure straight honey Un unbelievable i can't even tilt this for you very well Oh, it looks like this is all capped brood on this side. Maybe. All right, let me put this back down. We got honey spewing out of it. <laughs> oh, honey, honey. <clears throat> Excuse me, bees. Take me to your leader, please. You know, we'll, we'll check this frame too for the fun of it. Usually it's that middle two frames, you know, uh, this one and this one. But you never know. Oh yeah, we got a, uh, we got bees just falling off of this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, we got lots of uh, pupae. Dude, the honey is just, the honey is just pouring, if you can see in there. That's pretty cool. It looks like they've got this little auxiliary, uh, looks like, man, that's just a bunch of brood in there. That's crazy. Very kind of a goofy orientation. Yes, go home, honey. <clears throat> a lot of this is fairly fresh. 
which is quite nice. You know what? I, I can't help myself. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm taking this with me. something ready for this <clears throat> these bees are a bit more aggressive kind of interesting I would have thought that the Italians would have been a bit more uh, well calm but you know see the little bee drinking from the honey look at the little tongue very cute There's just honey dripping off of all of this. That is very funny. So I'm gonna go get a bowl. So all in all, this inspection went quite well. Uh, again, I didn't find the queen, but uh, I found evidence she was alive in the last, you know, three, four days. There was some freshly laid brood I found and all that, so that's looking all good. Uh, the Italians have been here one week less than the Carnolians, and uh, the Carnolians have made uh, substantially have made substantially more progress. <clears throat> uh, I'm thinking that I can contribute that to the fact that I used a lot of frames that had the uh, the inserts and they're just the plastic inserts with uh, you know no wax on them and so the bees in my experience, they don't like those at all. And even when I've pulled those frames out, painted some, you know, wax on that I melted down, they still didn't seem to really go for it. So I th I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead, pull those out, dismantle them, take take the, the plastic out, and put them back in, just empty. Uh, like, regular wooden frames just thrown together, dropped in, they will build on those, in my experience, perfectly. Uh, they like those frames. So that's what I'm going to give them. Uh, as far as your, you know, the frames in your deep, it doesn't really, you don't really need any sort of structure on those frames. Uh, a lot of people like having, you know, the, the structure there so that the bees are more likely to build, you know, less haphazardly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to give them empty frames and then the bees can, you know, work their magic on it. I, I don't see any problems with that and I think the bees are fully capable of uh, doing what they need to do. As far as uh, honey supers on, which will be going on next spring, I'm thinking about uh, just using wire. Uh, and yeah... There's about a hundred videos out on YouTube. I'll probably, you know, throw another one out into the void whenever I do that. Uh, pretty much, you, you just feed a metal wire through the holes, you know, in the sides of the frames. And then you chuck it in, and then the bees uh, just build off of that. And it's it's enough structure to where when you put the, the comb in the spinner, it, you know, the, the comb doesn't break apart. So you can reuse that in your hive for the next year.
Yeah, as far as the uh, the queen goes, you know, I I didn't find her, but I found evidence she was alive in the last you know day or two. So, you know, I don't like to spend a whole bunch of time in my hives. So, you know, I don't feel like I have to locate her each time. If there's evidence she's alive, that's good enough for me. But, uh, you know, that's just me. And, uh, I put the inner cover on the wrong way on the install. I wish I would have caught that, but that's just, uh, you know, trying to get the job done fast and just yeah, that little lack of attention to detail leads to a little bit of a mess. Luckily, it's it was nothing bad and it was all honeycomb, so uh, you can see me <laughs> in there scraping and uh, collecting up some stuff and I found a little cup so I, I filled that up with comb and I sp I've spent the last few days chewing on that and uh, having a good time. <laughs> uh, and in other news I got my first bee sting! Wow! Uh, I'm not quite too sure whether it was uh, Italian or Carnolian, not that it matters. I did both inspections on the same day but decided to break it into two videos because I don't expect anyone to hang around for, you know, forever. Uh, so yeah, it got me right on my hand, and uh, I was inside, it was about an hour after the inspection, and uh, she uh, must have hitched a ride in my pocket or something, and uh, ooh, man, I felt it as soon as it hit, uh, but uh, I didn't swell up or anything, and uh, it, it, it hurt when it when I got stung, but nothing nothing after that, so it's really good to to get stung and to not have any sort of reaction to it. Uh, both of my parents weren't allergic, but, you know, sometimes the universe has a way of just dealing you a bad card. So uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm not allergic. <laughs> That'd make uh, the whole beekeeping thing a bit more complicated. Guess what little bee decided to sneak into my house and sting me in the hand? 